Well, hello everyone. Welcome to class today. We're excited as usual. We're going to dig into future forms, or more simple future forms. And how about we get started? So, first of all, we have many, many forms that we use in future. English does not have a a specific future tense. We use supplements to talk about future time. So um, we more or less categorize these uh, these things into our plans and arrangements and our um, spontaneous decisions or predictions. So let's go ahead and dig right into these simple future forms. Um, First, we'll be discussing will, and this is probably more or less the most common future form. It's a modal verb, but it's, it, it, you know, we use it in different ways to talk about future time. We use will, and in Croatian, um, simply, you, you, you use will most often, I would say. Um, so we'll talk about will, and then we'll talk about um, going to. We'll talk about, I'll abbreviate, present continuous, and we'll talk about present simple. So, this is going to be a very brief, but but just this this lecture will just give you a, a good idea how we use each. So, first of all, let's go ahead and make a little chart here. Um, with Will, we use for spontaneous decisions. Its, its nature is spontaneity. Um, it, it, it has a lot of spontaneity about it. Um, the uh, things that we have not premeditated or, or contemplated, it's very, uh, we act on the impulse usually. So um, we also use will for predictions. We use will for promises, refusals. Um, so the nature and how we want to think of will <clears throat> is how not to use it. And we do not use it for things that we have contemplated, premeditated, or de and decided. So we don't use will for things we have decided. Okay, that's number one. Okay, so promises... Okay, instant decisions. This is huge. An instant decision. Okay, and uh, the opposite of a promise, more or less, we can say a refusal. Nechu, nechu. I hear this all the time for some reason. I don't know. Um, but um, refusal. I won't do my homework. Okay, well. Your loss. Okay, so instant decisions, predictions. Okay, and we use it for other things, but for now, we'll just keep it at that. Um, instant decisions, I would say, we'll give you more context here in a bit, but instant decisions is what we're really focused on. And then we'll talk about prediction in, in comparison with going to. So, um, going to and present continuous. Now, we're getting into our plans and arrangements now. So, um, these two, okay, these two right here, going to, okay, and present continuous, we should know the forms, um, we use for plans and arrangements. All right. So, now, um, what does this mean? This means, for example, um, if we have thought about something, we have, and decided, of course, then that means we know, and it is certain, more or less. So, for example, with going to, we're going to travel this weekend. Okay, it has been decided upon, and we have possibly made a plan in the book. Um, it is our intent to do so. 
with present continuous, the difference is it describes our plans or arrangements, but it is more concrete. Okay, concreto. It's more concrete. We usually use it with specific times, even. Okay. Sorry for my illegible handwriting. Um, it's a bad day for my handwriting. I don't know why. My apologies. But, um, for example, present continuous. We're meeting today at 12 o'clock. Um, there's more specificity with this arrangement. It has been decided upon, first of all. That's the criteria. And, additionally, we usually put specific time. This weekend. We're meeting this weekend at 12. Um, we, again, we use more specific times. Going to not so. We, that doesn't mean that we can't, but we generally do not use it, you know, specific times with going to. It is more of our intention. Um, specificity is, is withdrawn from going to, uh, usually. Um, there are no absolute laws with this, so don't worry. Um, however, it's more of our intention. Just think of it as that. Intention, not me, I don't know. Okay? Intention. So, we're going to get married soon. Okay? There's no definite time to this. It's just, first, we have thought about it and we have decided. But we have not necessarily planned the specific date. Okay? Um, it is not as concrete as we're getting married in June. Now, do you hear the difference there? We're going to get married. Oh, we're not sure when, but but it's our intention versus we're getting married this summer um, or we're getting married in June. So there is a, a, a subtle difference, okay? Um, in the real world, we can use these interchangeably. So do not worry so much about going to and present continuous. Um, however, if it's... The language is all about emphasis and precision. So if we want to speak more precisely and give, you know, correct inferences and, and intention, so we can use these two to differentiate intention versus something being concrete. Um, so going on to, to present simple. Now, here again, um, we, have, <laughs> we have two tenses here, okay? Um, present continuous and present simple, and, and you say, well, whoa, hey, Jamie, what's up, man? These aren't future tenses, like I said before. Um, we use tenses in English to supplement time in, in different times. So um, present continuous has a function, of course, for right now at the moment, and additionally, we use it for plans and arrangements which are concrete in the future, same as present simple. And we will not go over form here. We should know that. Now, present simple, we usually use with adverb time clauses, as we discussed last unit, maybe, um, with words such as when, by the time, um, before, after. Uh, so these are adverb time clauses in more specifically, we use these with future uh, excuse me, present simple tense to talk about times in the future. So, for example, when you when you go to school, call me. Now that's actually a conditional, but it is a future conditional, and this is called a future time clause. So, excuse me, it's not a conditional; it's a future time clause. So, after. He goes to school. Um, he should call me. This is a future time clause. Um, so, you know, we use these for things which are fixed. Okay, the movie starts at eight o'clock. This is a this is a fixed schedule routine. Okay, it has more futuristic implication, but we use it for things which are kind of timetabled, okay? Um, the, media, uh, the movie starts at, at 9 o'clock tonight, 
Okay, we don't say the movie is starting at nine o'clock tonight. It, it, this is more of a state. It's not. We're not trying to emphasize the action of the movie starting. It, 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 it is the movie starts. It's the state of the, the the beginning of the movie. So it's how we look. You might ask yourself, "Oh man, this doesn't make sense." Well, you have to subject yourself to this, and you have to use it a lot to get used to it. So um, timetables. Fixed schedules. This is mainly fixed schedules and future time clauses. Now, let's go back to these two culprits, okay? These suspects. Now, let's get into prediction, okay? So, um, both will and be going to we use for prediction. Now, will is very strong. It's it's uh, it, it can be strong. That's why we use it as a promise. Um, in prediction form, we use for things that are more far out. Okay, things that don't or won't affect us more imminently. Okay, immediately about to happen. They don't. Uh, or excuse me, we do not use them for things uh, that are about to happen. Um, <clears throat> okay, so the weatherman may say it will uh, Sunday will bring rain and snow, or it doesn't matter. But uh, usually, things farther out, we use will. Notre Dame predicted that in twenty fifty eight. It will rain acid. I, you know this. This is a prediction far out, not imminent. Okay, it's a good word for you, imminent. Um, going to things that are more imminent. Um, we or about to happen. Usually, there is proof or or some some uh, evidence, as you can say. For example, uh, naturally, we're in Zagreb drinking coffee at the Café on Spitza, and a, a friend looks up and says, Hey, Jamie, look at the clouds. It's going to rain. So the implication here is that it's about to happen. It's more imminent. And we know this because if we look up at the sky and see these little dark clouds coming our way, this is evidence that a rain shower is ahead of us. So we use going to for predictions, but things which are more imminent or about to happen. Okay, so let's look at the book here and let's see what we have. Okay, now um, let's just, okay, we see Will. Okay, and okay, the team manager won't be at the meeting tomorrow. He's in Berlin. Okay, won't be. This is very strong, okay? This is a personal uh, prediction, more or less, okay? Um, George has decided he's going to study economics at university. So, again, like we said, a decision has been made. Um, not really certain when, but he has taken the step of deciding. Now, here at number three, we have a timetable. The plane lands at seven, okay? Um, and we're asking, okay, will you go and meet them? Okay, we can use will as suggestion or proposal as well. So, um, and of course, let's look at number four. I'm leaving at 4 p.m. Now, remember what I said about present continuous. You see 4 p.m. Okay, this is very exact. This is very specific. Okay, so remember that. Now, um... Maybe we can go over some things in the book that I did not uh, tell you in our chart. But, uh, okay, to make a prediction on based on your personal knowledge or opinion. Um, for example, you know, we may say, you'll love the movie. Now, we say this also on impulse. Um, we don't really think about it, premeditate before we say these things. So, it's very 
erratic, if you can say, very impulsive. Um, you'll love the movie. I don't think about it and then, you know, say, oh, you know what? You're going to love the movie. Oh, we say you'll love the movie, okay? Uh, another example, something very um, spontaneous, okay? If, if, if you drop your pen off the table, I would say, oh, I'll get it, okay? The, the nature of it is very spontaneous, so, okay? Um, let's see, as we can see that, spontaneity, okay? Um, po, po, po. So, now, here is a, something interesting. This is, this is, I think, okay? Now, if we're, <clears throat> if we precede our, you can call it prediction, or maybe a plan, okay? And if the plan is undecided, we may use will, because that means, I think, I have not concluded, decided anything. Um, this means uncertainty. So, we often use, I think, or maybe, um, preceding will. I think I'll go. I think I'll do my homework. Wow, wouldn't that be lovely? Um, so, we can make predictive plans, but remember, they are not decided. They are not certain. Okay, we often do this with I think. Okay, so um, this part we're talking about contractions. Okay, now look, going to, we'll move to that, okay, to make prediction based on evidence. The, 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 the cause is in the pudding, as they say. The evidence, the proof is in the pudding. Okay, now that's a pretty interesting phrase there. You can Google it, okay? Um, look at the traffic. We're going to be late. Look, it's evident. In front of us, there is a jam, so we will inevitably, inevitably be late. Okay? So, um, mm -mm -mm. present simple, timetables. Pretty simple stuff, okay? Now, again, present continuous, as we mentioned, okay, we use present continuous to talk about arrangements and fixed plans. We usually use specific times and dates. We're meeting at the restaurant at 2.30, okay? Exactly what we said, right? So, that's it. Now, let's do just a bit of practice. We've gone over the 15-minute uh, threshold. I should just change this more to 20, so I'm... Okay. Now, all right, let's, let's, let's do this. Now, remember, okay, if you get some of these wrong, you, it, you may argue, okay, you may opine and, and uh, say, hey, look, it's all about emphasis, right? So some of these uh, in the real world, we may have multiple answers, and, and no one's going to say, oh, you didn't use going to, but instead you used present simple, or present continuous. Now, going to and present continuous have overlap, okay, and, and we use and can use them interchangeably. However, we need to be more careful and pay closer attention to will, all right? So let's do that at least, okay? Where are you going? To the library. Okay, I take or I'm ta I'm going to take. Okay, I'd say I'm going to take. Okay, versus I take. I take books there every day. Okay. Um, moreover, we could say I'm taking some books back. However, that is not a choice, but it is plausible. So, eight. A, oh, hang on a minute. I come. I'll come. This is spontaneous, right? We're emphasizing spontaneity here. Okay? I'll come. We don't think about this. This is in acting on impulse. Okay? I'll come. Okay? With you. Okay? You know what? Huh. You'll come? Huh. Sure. I'll take mine back, too. This is another impulsive, spontaneous decision. Okay? 
We didn't think, we didn't premeditate on this. Okay, let's look at number two. There's a documentary about the history of the Olympics on TV tonight. Oh, hmm. well, do you think that we're going to, you know what? Hmm, I'm going to decide this. No, this is very spontaneous. Oh, I'll tell Tony, okay? He loves anything connected with sport. What time, okay, now here is a, what time is it on? We could, we could use what time is it on? Um, this is more or less a, few, a timetable, and this is a fixed schedule, more or less, okay? Um, it starts, okay, another timetable. Okay, <clears throat> all right. Will you go or are you going? Well, this is a planner arrangement and this is your plan. So I'd say, are you going? Okay, yes, we're going. And remember, when we're answering in English, there is reciprocity. We, we give back what we're given, okay? Um, so this is fairly easy here because we're only answering as we're asked. All right. Number four, do you know what you get or you are getting Andres, Andres, excuse me, for his birthday? Well, this is your intention, your plan, your, your, your plan. So do you know what you're getting him for his birthday? Now, his birthday is a very specific date in the future. So you are getting. Oh, okay. And, <clears throat> excuse me, and the last two. All right. I'm going to get or I get him that new computer he has been talking about. Well, this is very simple. I have decided this, correct? Yes. I have decided and I'm going to do it. It is more of my intention. There is no specific time or date. It is my intention to get him this computer, okay? Oh, he'll like that. Now, this is my personal opinion, okay? It's my prediction, okay? So, oh, he'll like that, all right? So, we're, ba we're giving prediction based on our personal feelings or opinions, okay? So, we use will for that, all right? So, this is pretty much it, guys, and... I hope we've uh, covered all these. There are a lot of uh, forms, so that's why we went a little bit over the 15-minute threshold. So I hope you don't mind, but I hope you got a lot from this. And just remember, um, be careful when we use will um, and when we talk about our plans or arrangements, uh, we'll use what? Very good. Going to or present continuous. All right. We'll see you next class to talk about more complex future forms. Have a good day. Bye-bye.